In this video, we'll be making sense of YouTube analytics and how to boost watch time, whilst also looking at the five main key performance indicators, KPIs. So if you're one of those YouTubers or online business owners that just hates analyzing data and numbers, then that's great. Stay to the end of this video where you'll be able to download my free gift, really useful free online marketing tools. Making sense of YouTube analytics to boost video watch time is crucial to learn how to grow your online business and your channel at the same time. Watch time is the main key performance indicator, i.e. the KPI, of a video when it comes to YouTube and Google ranking it, not the size of the number of views. And the purpose of looking at your YouTube analytics is so that you can improve on the performance of your existing and future videos and of your channel so that you can drive more traffic to your landing pages and website for example and generate more business so the focus then should be on how to boost video watch time hi my name is jeff laming for video cash flow and in this video we're going to look at making sense of youtube analytics to boost video watch time now, before we head over to the computer, if this is the first time you're watching a video cash flow video and you like what you hear, see and read, then please click the subscribe button underneath the video so you can get access to more video marketing and business videos on a weekly basis. Okay, so here we are at the computer and first thing we want to do is to go to our YouTube channel and once we're in there, then click on the icon in the top right. And then from the resulting drop down menu, we want to create, click on Creator Studio. Now, what we want to do here is by analyzing the performance of your videos and channel, we can improve future and existing videos and playlists and the overall well being of your channel. So, let's click on the analytics icon here. And what we're going to do, we're going to focus on the main KPIs specifically relevant to the aim of improving watch time watch time is the main thing that youtube and google are interested in when it comes to uh, ranking your videos and the five kpis that we're going to cover the five key performance indicators we'll cover are number one audience retention uh, number two demographics number three traffic sources number four subscribers and number five cards and end screen and the focus on following these five kpis and especially for those that hate analyzing data and members so that you can treat everything else in the analytics section uh, that you see on the dashboard as irrelevant noise let's have a look at the analytics just click on here for now and here it is here as you can see it opens up another menu all by itself and that's that's enough to uh, pull a lot of people off you know just just overwhelms people but let's just keep and stay focused with these five kpis because as you can see it, we've got audience retention there which we'll look at shortly then we've got demographics underneath it then traffic sources here subscribers a bit further down and then we've got the cards and then screens at the end here so that's all we really need to focus on anything else on this dashboard to be quite honest is fairly irrelevant and is just noise unless you unless you're into into analyzing then um to be quite honest you don't really need to have a look at anything else certainly not 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 at this stage and for the purpose of finding out what's going to increase your watch time and by sticking with these five kpis key performance indicators you won't end up contracting that dreaded disease called analysis paralysis so if you hate analytics then you are certainly at a huge advantage by just sticking off on these five kpis now let's look at audience retention which is the first one of the five now here's audience retention this is a, a graph of uh, results of the of the overall channel the videos in the channel uh, for the last month now audience retention what do your videos need to show to keep viewers watching for longer remember the aim is to increase and improve watch time for each video and the other thing to uh, bear in mind is we want to be looking for any patterns that are emerging uh, from video to video at particular times of each uh, video for example when are viewing numbers uh, generally dropping off or is it something specific to each video so let's uh, have a look at one of the, my videos uh, this one is how to make video marketing work for you uh, what a joke it's a fairly recent video and 
it's uh, the top one it's got a total watch time at the moment of 54 minutes now I just want to say at this stage that this uh, this channel that we're working with is um, fairly low key uh, it's not been particularly successful at the moment um, and so the actual data may be a bit thin on the ground and some of the figures may be a little bit spurious at this stage but the important thing is is that it's giving us started to build a picture for us so these first um, seven or eight videos uh, seem to be uh, doing much better than all the others put together and the average uh, percentage of those videos viewed range from uh, from about 25 percent 24 percent uh, up to about 47 percent so starting to tell us a little bit more information and the top one here is the one we're looking at as i said so if we click on that what we actually see is a graph of the whole length of the video and uh, obviously a lot of people uh, started viewing it at the beginning and as you can see over the course of the video it gradually tailed right off <clears throat> in this instance about 80 percent of people that were there at the beginning weren't there at the end now the interesting thing is if, if you uh, just uh, use an imaginary line they're going you can see as a general general tapering off uh, right down to about one one minute 37 one minute 38 and then it plateaus if, if not increasing slightly uh, for about uh, another two minutes before it towers right off at the end so they're the sort of um, uh, trends if you like that we want to find out a bit more uh, as to why or, or the likelihood of why um, we had steady reduction there and then the plateauing and then another another tail off at the end so we do that we do this with with every uh, video each video will tell you a slightly different story um so what we're looking for for example are um are our intros too long for example um are we taking too long to get to the point of the message that we want to convey in the video um could it be that uh, that you're waffling uh, are your thumbnail images or titles um, out of sync with your opening introduction, for example? Or is it something more fundamental, such as is your video boring in terms of content? Or is your voice at uh, a monotone level, in other words, all at one pitch level? Or could it be that the video is produced with poor sound um, and or lighting, something that I know I'm guilty of? And is there inappropriate or loud music in the background, which puts uh, a lot of people off? Yeah, it could be any one of a number of factors. Um, could be a, a combination of two, three, or four uh, issues. But at least now you're getting an idea of what you need to do, what steps you need to take to start um, tweaking and making improvements. Uh, remember, with the aim to uh, increase your watch time and get your videos ranked on page one of YouTube and ideally on Google as well. Now, to put this uh, graph into some form of context, we need to compare it really with what um, what the average results are for uh, YouTube's videos. So if you click on this button here called Relative Audience Retention, it will come up with another graph, which actually is quite in interesting, certainly for this video anyway. If you have a look here, you've got an average line there. So obviously anything above that average line is uh, positive anything below is you know you need to do a bit more work so what it's saying is this particular video started off quite well fell back a bit and then it made uh, a bit of recovery and then a big recovery about uh, halfway during the course of the video so it'd be interesting to know why that was and then it tells right off uh, for the last 25% um, of the video and the interesting thing there is is that uh, could be that the end screens are not being watched as much as they should be and we'll come on to end screens a bit later in this video so again when you look at each video uh, this is a very very important uh, graph to look at and will give you some uh, some really real inside information as to what you want to do next it could simply be that you need to keep your videos to the point and concise it could be you need to keep your intros and intro bumpers to a minimum and of course it may be that you need to improve your sound and lighting all of these factors could make a difference to the performance of future videos and existing videos where you can uh, make a difference um, by tweaking them where you can
And one thing I do tend to see uh, quite a bit of is, is people worrying about the overall length of time of the video and how much of a difference uh, that makes. Yes, I'm sure it does make a difference, but at the same time, I think um, understanding your analytics, taking steps to improve your watch time with what you've got, I think is probably far more important at this stage um, than worrying about the overall length uh, of your video. Um, and at the end of the day, if, you, if you're producing some really good quality uh, information, keeping people's attention, length of time becomes um, secondary to that. The second of the five KPIs is demographics. Again, great information because in this particular case, it's telling me so you've got uh, male and female and also breaks it down into age groups as well. Now, on the face of it, it may not look like um, you know, real riveting information you, you're getting there, but what you're doing is you're building up uh, an idea of, of your audience you know who are your audience made up of what age group are they and from there you can you can uh, tailor your videos to producing videos more in tune with your age group and gender so this is all great information for getting to know and understand your audience so you get a better idea of what information and videos to produce for them uh, the third kpi is uh, traffic sources and really what you want to know about traffic sources is, is where people are finding your videos and what are they searching for? They'll make sure videos appear in the search engines. Um, now, what we've got here on, on the initial page of traffic sources, we've just got a, a brightly colored graph. Now, if you hover over it, it tells you a bit about channel pages, uh, YouTube search. This is the information it's, it's trying to give you here. And this is probably more getting nearer to the information that we're really trying to find out. So, for example, it's got the, the traffic source this is for the channel it's from external sources click on that it might tell us what it is not playing ball yes it is it's traffic from websites and apps that embed your videos or link to your videos uh, on youtube so that's interesting and it's 141 minutes over just over half of the uh, total watch time of all the videos on this channel is through embeds a particularly interesting one is this youtube search because this will give you a little bit more information so if we just click on that for now and what this is telling us are the search terms that are entered into the YouTube uh, search engine bar. And the information is probably a little bit sparse on the ground to get real meaningful information, but at least it's uh, building up a, a picture. Interesting enough, it's the top one here is about cloaking affiliate links. Okay, exact match domains, uh, how to generate cloaked shortened links, cloaking again, uh, keywords and domains, free ebooks, uh, domains, keywords. Interesting that there's about three particular subjects that seem to be uh, searched for. That tells me that I should be looking at producing more videos on those subjects. So basically by clicking on that YouTube search hyperlink, you can see what keyword phrases have been used to access your videos. And so this is another great resource for future videos. And it's the reason why it's one of the five uh, KPIs that you need to focus on. Fourth KPI is subscribers. Now, increasing your subscriber numbers is a nice thing to have, but to really understand why your subscriber numbers are increasing will reveal far more than you may realize. Again, it highlights which videos are more appealing and a further strong indicator of what you should be producing for future videos. It could also indicate which videos have a strong call to action against those that don't I, it's a case of don't ask, don't get. And if we have a look here, we've got obviously a graph, which is fine. Um, but these are from the uh, YouTube watch page. These are the videos that where uh, subscribers have clicked through from. So again, that video was on YouTube categories, which is interesting. So at least I can know, let's have a look a bit more detail in, at that video. The benefits of YouTube and, and video marketing. Uh, how to redirect links again this is cloaking as well so as you can see we've, we've already looked at three or four of these kpis now and there's a pattern emerging already as i say the information is fairly sparse but don't worry if you've only just started and you've only produced a few videos you will actually start seeing patterns emerge virtually from your first video so this is great information to move ahead with and finally we'll move on with the Fifth KPI, which is annotations, cards, and end screens. Now, I've gone into the cards here. Annotations, I've got virtually no uh, information there, simply because uh, I knew that when I signed up, got my YouTube channel up and running, 
the annotations would be phased out. So we'll just concentrate on cards and end screens now. But basically what this analy these analytics tell us are the number of clicks you've got to your cards. Now, what I've been doing is, like a lot of people who start out, can't get access now to the associated website by pulling a link to your website. So we're having to think outside of the box a little. So what I tend to do now in my videos is set up poll cards. As you can see uh, for this video, I've had one card teaser click. It's a big deal. Uh, everything else is zero. Oh, I've got one down there as well. Yeah, okay. But as you can see, I've got a lot of work there to improve upon upon that to get these poll cards working uh, and getting people interested in um, the information that I'm providing there. But again, it it tells us how successful uh, are these cards in your videos. And not only uh, with respect to the uh, information that you're providing in the cards um, and the value that you're offering, but also, as I mentioned earlier, you want to uh, be a bit strategic here and also uh, try and place cards where it looks as though your audience tend to drop off. Again, you can combine a lot of this information to get some, um, start building up a much clearer picture. And it may be that you've noticed a pattern emerging from your videos as well and from video to video. I want to try and be a bit strategic here by placing your cards at any time when, for example, viewer numbers significantly drop off. And we'll also have a look at the end screens as well because they follow the similar pattern, albeit it's at the end of the video and here these are my um, end screens for the various videos I've got a number of elements in each uh, each video uh, but as you can see the results are absolutely shocking I'm not getting any clicks at all and that is uh, not surprising when we looked at that first video because viewing numbers tailed right off at the end so I know that I've got to improve uh, on that keep uh, keep viewers interested right through to the end and will make the end screens a lot more enticing or it may be that um, instead of having two, three, four elements, I should only show one element there. But again, at least um, we're building up a picture now and you can then determine by a bit of testing and tweaking to maximize the watch time of each video. So by using cards and end screens strategically, we can determine the time when viewer numbers significantly drop off, when our intro bumper cuts in and uh, whether we actually need to get the card coming out at the top right of your screen then and also if we're announcing that the video is coming to an end uh, is that making a significant difference to the viewing numbers that drop off so all these things add up and once you've uh, analyzed a few videos you'll be able to see um, patterns emerging and then you can take steps to improve on those results I hope you found these tips useful for the five key performance indicators to, to focus on. As I say, everything else is just noise and you can always go back to them once you build up the experience uh, and um, at a later date and you've got uh, some, uh, a few good results under your belt. Now don't forget to keep watching this video to the end for the link to the free download uh, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Welcome back. Look out for another video on video marketing and YouTube coming your way next week. And if you like this video, please click the like button underneath the video. Feel free to share the video with friends, family, business, colleagues and associates. And by all means, leave a comment or pose a question in the comment section underneath the video. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos on video marketing and business tips, tactics, techniques and strategies that could help you with your own online business. And if you'd like early notification of when more videos are being uploaded to the Video Cashflow channel, hit the grey bell icon as well. Sorry, nearly forgot. Here's the link for you to download your free copy of the really useful free online marketing tools guide. You'll find it in the description box underneath the video. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.